In a game that promised thrills, spills, and playoff implications, the Buffalo Bills clashed with the Kansas City Chiefs in a nail-biter that had fans on the edge of their seats. As the Bills surged to an early 14-0 lead, the anticipation built, only to be met with an unexpected twist that left even the casual NFL observer shaking their head. With around two minutes left in the game and the Bills holding a precarious 2017 lead, Patrick Mahomes, known for his ability to engineer comebacks, seemed poised to once again work his magic. What followed was a play that could have gone down as one of the best of the year, a pass to Kels, a toss back to Kadarius Tony, and a sprint for a 50-yard touchdown. The crowd erupted, and Mams basked in the glory of what seemed like a game-winning play. However, the elation was short-lived. A flag on the field, an offsides penalty against Kadarius Tony, nullified the touchdown, leaving Mahams and the Chiefs stunned. As the Bills secured the victory, Mahams, known for his compost demeanor, couldn't contain his frustration. The post-game scene revealed a sight of Mahams that fans rarely witness a Kermit flail, and a heated tirade against what he deemed an egregiously bad call. But it didn't end there. Instead of gracefully accepting defeat and acknowledging the Bills quarterback, Josh Allen, Mahams took his discontent to a whole new level. In a move that left onlookers baffled, Mahams directed his complaints towards Allen, dismissing the customary sportsmanship and camaraderie that define post-game interactions. Enter Taylor Swift, watching the game along with her legion of fans. The superstar, known for her poise and grace under pressure, couldn't hide her displeasure at Mahams' uncharacteristic outburst. As Mahams ranted about the call, Swift, an avid supporter of the Chiefs, found herself caught between loyalty to her team and disappointment in one of its star players. Swift, an artist who has mastered the art of handling public scrutiny, must have cringed at the sight of Mahams, turning a moment of defeat into a spectacle of frustration. The quarterback's behavior not only tarnished the Chiefs' reputation, but also drew unwanted attention from the millions of fans, including Swift's devoted following. It's worth noting that Mahams, often hailed as one of the most beloved players in the NFL, had an audience that extended beyond football enthusiasts. Taylor Swift's presence at the game, coupled with her immense influence, meant that Mahams' outburst was magnified to a level he perhaps hadn't anticipated. The clash between sportsmanship and celebrity fandom unfolded in real time, with Swift's disappointment becoming a focal point of the post-game narrative. As Mahams continued to express his discontent, it became clear that this wasn't merely a case of a player contesting a call. It was a tantrum that overshadowed the essence of the game, a battle of skill, strategy, and sportsmanship. Swift, a seasoned performer who understands the importance of composure and the spotlight, must have questioned Mahams' decision to air his grievances so openly especially when directed at an opponent. The incident raises broader questions about the responsibility and expectations placed on athletes in the public eye. Mahams, often seen as a role model for aspiring athletes and admired for his philanthropic efforts off the field, risked alienating both fans and fellow players with his uncharacteristic behavior. Swift, no stranger to the pressures of fame, may have found herself disappointed in Maham's failure to uphold the values that make sportsmanship an integral. In the aftermath of Maham's emotional outburst, the fallout extended beyond the confines of the football field. Social media buzzed with reactions, and the incident became a hot topic of discussion not only among sports enthusiasts, but also within the broader entertainment industry. Taylor Swift, known for her strategic silence in the face of controversies, found herself inadvertently dragged into the spotlight. In the end, it serves as a reminder that, even in the face of disappointment, both athletes and fans can learn valuable lessons about resilience, accountability, and the enduring power of sportsmanship.